Now, um, when did you first get introduced, you know, to Trippy Red? Like, when did y'all first meet? Me and Trippy met on Insta through Instagram, but like he saw me. So before I had signed my deal, um, Milo was like the first. Milo had reached out, or whatever, and we had flew to LA and we was linking with we linked with Milo. It was just you know doing the courting or whatever. That was the beginning. Shout out to Milo because he really he's the one who like he saw me first, for real, for real. Um, but I guess so. Him and you know he's part of Trippy's label or some shit like that or whatever. So Trippy ended up seeing me. He hit me. And at first, you know, I didn't really engage it. But then it's like, you know, we started engaging. And then, you know, and then we got on tour or whatever. And on tour is where we really, like, click. That's where everything, like, happened. Like, tour is like yeah. the mid middle of the tour. Yeah. We're getting the tour. <laughs> <laughs> so he kind of he discovered you on your way up, basically, like on Instagram. Yeah, I was already signed. Okay, okay. And then one thing led to another just by being around the world. Where? Wow. Yeah, I was already I signed. I was I was already moving, you feel me? But that's just with anybody. I, you know, anybody that you date that's going to, you know, before I, I had just got signed, what, it's about to be two years trippy. I was already in the shit, been in the shit for a minute. So he's, anybody that's on that level of status that I, whether if it was him or not, it would have been the same situation of, you know. Yeah, because you know I read comments and you know I watch YouTube videos and a lot of you know a lot of people were 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 upset about you know y'all splitting up you know, okay, and you know a lot of fans they like to say that you know trippy this and without trippy that and stuff like that. How do you feel when when fans say that about you know your career? Ah. Uh... It doesn't really like it affects me. I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes, but sometimes it don't because it's like I've it's been like almost nine months and I've moved past that shit. And honestly, me and him don't got no beef. You feel me? Like yeah. we we cool. Like it ain't no beef. So I could give a fuck about a person across the internet. It just get aggravated when it's repetitive. Like all right, shut up now. Like I get it, but that shit ain't never gonna stop. It it, it I done been through worse shit than them little ass comments. You feel me? So that yeah. shit can't break me. I won't let it neither. Yeah. So what like what made the split happen? You know, um, at the time we was just young. You know, I was an upcoming artist. I'm still an upcoming artist, just figuring things out. And at the time he was still figuring things out. And it just I would say it just wasn't the right time, you know? And with my personal issues and his personal issues and the things that we were going through as artists, it was a lot of pressure and a lot of pressure leads to frustration. So it was just at a point where we just couldn't do it anymore. Feel me? All right. That's what's up. That's what's up. Is there anything that, you know, you kind of like learned from his, from him as like being an artist or any tips or advice or, of course. you know, stuff that you kind of like you still use today? Yeah. One thing I know about Trip is he don't give a fuck. Like, he don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? When nobody's saying that nigga stay recording. Like, he stay in the studio. So, he's actually really talented. And the reason why he is so successful is because the nigga work hard. Like, that's one thing I'll, I'll give it to him. He work hard. He don't put nothing before his bread and, and his motherfucking music. And I respect that shit. And that's why I always, you know, he's younger than me. But that's what I, I, I always looked at the potential side of him on. As far as damn, like when this nigga's a man, he gonna be all right. You feel me? Right. I mean, that's good. You're in a good space right now, man. Because you know, a lot of a lot of people are bitter, and you know, they get in interviews, and you know, they try to shit on their ex, and get on Twitter and say crazy shit. But you know, that's good that you're in a good space right now. Yeah, no, nah, I just, I don't. It's like what you put in this earth gonna always come back to you. And I'm not. I don't want to be bitter and spiteful. Like that's how you block your own blessings, for real, for real. <laughs> 